Today we'll look at how to create a letter portrait in Affinity Photo. You can start with an image that looks like this and turn it into this. So I've created a document in Affinity Photo here. Let me place my main image. I'll choose File, Place. I have this image of a tiger here. I'll click Open. Now this is a transparent PNG. I strongly recommend making your image transparent. Now let's make a letter. I'll choose the Artistic Text tool here. I'll click and drag. I think the letter Z would look pretty good. So I have this letter here. With my letter selected, I'll look through my fonts and see what looks good. So I'll click the font drop down, scroll through. I like this book antique one. So I'm just gonna click that. And here we have our letter. Over here in my layer stack, I'll drag the letter behind the tiger. And now I'll see where I can best position the tiger to fit in the composition. I'll show you how you can change this later so we're not locked into our decision here. If you want, you can make the tiger slightly transparent when you're experimenting here. So I'll dial this down a little bit. I'll click off. And I can see more easily how it fits into the letter here. I think there is pretty good. I'll turn the transparency back up. Now you want to mask out part of our tiger that's not in the letter. So I'm going to select my text layer here with the Z on it. Then I'm going to choose Select, Selection from Layer. So this created a selection in the shape of the Z. But now I want to go back to my tiger layer here, and I'm going to click Mask Layer. And you can see it's hiding all of the tiger outside of the layer. I'll press Ctrl D to unselect. So here's my tiger and the mask is created here. If I alt click on the mask, that's what it looks like. Now we want to paint part of our tiger back in. So I'm going to select the paintbrush over here. I'll make sure I have a hard brush selected. One of the basic brushes. I'm going to make sure my brush color is white. And I'm going to paint the tiger back in. Again, I'm painting on the mask and I'm restoring the tiger here. And now we have the top part of our tiger back in there. Now what if I want to reposition my tiger? Well, let's do that. I'll select the tiger. Now let's move our tiger. And you can see we have a bit of a problem here. Because of how we did the mask, we're getting these gaps when we try to move the tiger. Let me undo this. There's actually a very easy way to fix this. With the tiger layer selected here, what we want to do is lock the mask into place. Now make sure your move tool is selected. And this option usually isn't visible by default. For me, I have to click these arrows up here. I'll click this. And then you want to say lock children. So I'll click this box here. And now when I move the tiger, you can see it's actually working. So if you notice the edge of the Z, it's preserved. Now when I move my tiger up a bit, there's a little bit of a problem here. That's much easier to fix. Let me just go back to my mask. I didn't paint enough white in that first time. So I'll paint some white in here. Let me go back to my tiger. Make sure you're on the move tool. And you can see now it's working much better. If you do move it too far to the edge and you start to see this thing happening, that means you just need to go back to your mask and just paint it back in. Probably you can just paint it all back in up here. So if I look at my mask again, this is what the mask looks like now. I think this position here looks pretty good. We have a nice sense of depth with the tiger in front of the letter, and we can clearly see the edges of the Z here. Now let's add some finishing touches. I'll add a fill layer to my design to give it some background. So I'll say layer, new fill layer. Let's give it some type of gradient. I'll give it a radial gradient. I'll change this option up here to radial. Let's make the outer color something greenish, close to that Z color. I think that looks pretty cool there. I can also give a white outline to my letter. So with the letter selected, I'll click FX, then I'll select Outline. Make sure you check the box here, and I'll increase the radius. I think white would actually look better, so I'll click Color, change it to white, and now we have a nice outline. While we're here, let's also give it an outer shadow. So I'll select Outer Shadow, check the box, now increase the radius, offset, intensity. I think that looks pretty good there. We can also give a little bit of depth inside the letter with an inner shadow. So let me click Inner Shadow. I'll zoom in so you can see this better. I'll select Inner Shadow, and I'll increase the radius for that. So now you can see along the edges there's a little bit of a shadow here. So before, after, before, after. If we like, we can also add some vibrance and contrast to our tiger. So with the tiger selected, I'll select the adjustments. Let's add a curve, boost up the brightness a little bit, maybe decrease the darks a little. Let's add a vibrance adjustment too. So once again, I'll click the adjustments, and I'll select vibrance. Increase that a little bit and close this. And here we have our final result. If there's any topics you'd like to see a tutorial for, let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.